Welcome. In front of me is a Google Pixel 5 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this device. Now obviously you can see that this phone here is locked uh, in two different ways. Number one would be the pattern and then also using a Google account. So we can use either one of them to unlock the device. Now, assuming we don't know any of those, what we can do to bypass this is go back to the first page. And actually just one more mention uh, before you do I'll go to the first page, uh, connect to network. As you can see, I already am connected. And once you connect to it, go back to the first page and change the language to any kind of language straight from the bottom that uses a different keyboard. So basically anything from the bottom all the way up to something like Greek should work. Uh, I will also mention one little thing if you uh, select any language that and writes from the other side, so from right to left, uh, all the options will be swapped around. So for instance, if, uh, if I confirm on the right side uh, with those languages, it will be actually on the left side. So anyway, I'm gonna select, let's go with Greek here, and let's go with the setup. So if you pick a language that you don't understand, I uh, can just press the same thing that I am pressing. So we're gonna start off by selecting start, then skip this. Skip this. There is the verification pattern, so I'm gonna select uh, use Google account instead and give it a second, it will bring up the Google account. So you're gonna tap on the field, this will bring up your keyboard and in here you should uh, see a globe icon. If you don't, then you will need to go back to the first page and change it to some kind of different language. Now sometimes uh, if you pick the language that uses a different keyboard and you don't see the globe icon, uh, that's sometimes just a bug for some reason where it just substitutes the English keyboard for this one and just solve this problem by changing it to a different language and when you get back here you should have the globe icon. So anyway, you want to hold it and you're going to start off by selecting uh, QWERTY as a keyboard right here which is a middle option for me. Then hold it again and go to language settings which is the text at the bottom, blue one. Then you want to select add keyboard which is the blue button and choose any kind of keyboard that does not have an arrow. So you can see there's three with an arrow, disregard those completely and pick one pick one that doesn't have it. So I'm just gonna select one here. And from there you wanna tap on add button, which is the blue one. And there we go, we have added a keyboard. So once you've done that, I'm gonna go back to the first page again. And we're gonna change the language back to our desired language, which for me is English. And again, let's go through the setup get back to where we just left, where. And again, tap on the field, hold the globe icon, and you wanna tap on the language settings, add a keyboard, and this time around, you're looking for a keyboard with an arrow. So let's scroll down, there was one. So as you can see, there is an arrow. Click on it, and then you wanna tap on the three dots in the top right corner and choose help and feedback. Once it loads up, I'm gonna tap right here and describe your issue and just type in two letters, M, O, and it will bring, a, bring our option that we're looking for as a suggested one, which is use Morse code. Select it, tap on the video to load it up. And once it does load up, click on the three dots on the video and choose watch later, which in turn will open up our web browser. So from here, Let's select accept and continue and no thanks. Let's tap on a field right at the top and we're gonna navigate to, I'm quickly check because I actually haven't looked ahead of time. Okay, so we're gonna navigate to hard reset.info slash bypass. Now I'll write it down and the address and you can pause the video if you need a moment to write it down. So now would be the time to pause the video. It's consent. So from here, you wanna scroll down and you will see settings. Click on it. 
once you open up settings you want to navigate to accessibility Let's see oh there we go accessibility many you want to enable it it's allow got it and now we're gonna go back back once more and from here we navigate to applications or apps and notifications as it's called here and you want to select see all 33 apps tap on the three dots right here and then select show system and you're gonna start off by number one finding the Android setup which is right here and you're gonna select a four stop okay so once you have first stopped this we're gonna go back and now we're gonna look for Google Play services so scroll down so there we go Google Play services once you find it you want to select disable disable app and let's go back there was just some notifications uh, I believe this is the notification for play service is not working which is completely fine so anyway from here once you have um, disabled the play services and the Android setup what you want to do is hold power key and from there we're gonna leave power off the device let me just make sure So we're actually not powering off our device. So sorry for that confusion here. Um, so all we need to do is just start spamming the back button till we get to Now, as you just see, there was a bit of weirdness happening, which normally shouldn't be happening. So, completely either disregarded, or if you had the same thing, just start spamming back button like I did. So anyway, we're gonna select skip here. Don't copy. Okay, so now while it's checking for updates and stuff like that, we're gonna swipe up. This will bring up the menu right here. And from there, we're gonna select uh, assist or assistant. Let's try it again. There we go. So from here, let's select settings. Gonna select enable. And we're gonna go back. So as you can see, it did progress further now. So we can select more and accept. And now you do want to set up a screen lock. Um, so I don't know if you paid attention, but at the beginning of the video, uh, one of the ways of unlocking the device or verifying it was through patterns. So I will stick with the pen that it's right now defaulting to, just to keep it uh, different than what it was. So I'm gonna select one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and confirm. And this now confirmed the pin. Or apparently not. So 
so it looks like I just can't set up a uh, fail safe right here so I'm just gonna skip it in this case the reason why I wanted to set up a pin was uh, so if something fails I can unlock it using pin later on because it does override it but the device didn't really allow me so just go through the setup finish it up here okay so as you can see we are now on the home screen so let's start off by going into the settings right here i'm going to scroll down to system advanced reset options and then erase all data factory reset and then select it again erase all data and erase all data and this will begin factory resetting our device now while this process is going on, um, it will also remove any kind of authentication that it needed before. So Google account that was needed to verify will now be completely removed along with the pattern. So the device will become fully unlocked after the factory reset. Now this process might have been a little bit uh, convoluted here, but as you can see it still worked. Uh, we gain access to the home screen and factory reset option was there. So. From here, everything should be just working just fine.